Okay, so let's talk about a slab foundation versus a pier and beam foundation. Yeah. And how do you inspect those? And tell me some pros and cons of each of those. Well, the thing to remember, Sophia, is there really is no perfect system. They, they both have their own set of advantages and disadvantages. And there is no perfect type. Um, usually, pier and beam foundations are more level. <clears throat> those, those piers on a pier and beam, they typically go pretty deep. They, they're usually pretty level. They don't have levelness problems. But they can have wet soils problems. Crawl spaces, uh, things from like sprinklers or drainage or downspouts that go into the crawl space, plumbing leaks. That you don't ever really get to see those. <laughs> that people don't ever go into their crawl spaces. Right. And they can leak, I've seen them leak for 10 years, you know. So on a pier and beam, the, the absolute most important thing is dry soils. Got to have dry soils. Okay. And good wood and good ventilation. Okay. Um, it's not that scary down there. Homeowners can look in their crawl spaces on their own. Just get a great flashlight, maybe some coveralls. All you got to do is just kneel down into the little, the crawl space the little hatch. You don't uh -huh. have to crawl all through it. Just get down in there enough to shine your light around and have somebody flush the toilets, run the sinks. And they're looking for water. You're looking for water leaks. You're looking for rodents, weird smells. You're looking for big puddles of water over there. Um, you know, in people that might be living down there. <laughs> <laughs> These are things that homeowners can do. It's not scary. Okay, so another question. If a foundation measures level, but on a second floor, it slopes. Mm -hmm. Tell me if, tell me, tell me your yep. thoughts on that. We get that a lot. Um, what what that is usually is where uh, you know we have we have a lot of open floor plan mm -hmm. concept, and so we have long spans of ceiling joists and beams that span way across the rooms, and you don't see all that, but there's structure up there. And what normally that is is when you're upstairs, and you you walk from a stiff wall downstairs into an area of framing. And what you, you know, wood, wood bends, mm -hmm. and it's allowed to bend some. And so when you're standing right here on the top of this wall, it's stiff. And then when you walk into the room, you walk into framing. And it feels like they're sagging, but really what the feeling is, is it's just less stiff. I'm so glad you answered that <laughs> question because it is a, it is a huge question that a lot of home yeah. buyers and home sellers have and everyone thinks it's a foundation challenge. That's right. It's a big it's myth. It's just kind of walking from stiff wall to framing. And, and what we try to do is like, if your floor joists run kind of parallel to the wall, you feel it more dramatically than uh -huh. if your floor joists run into the wall. When they're running into the wall, you kind of walk up, you walk out, and then you feel it slowly. But when they're parallel, there's a bigger difference. Significance, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's usually just the feeling. Kind of getting back to your tile question, I, I really want to address that, uh, your cracked tile mm -hmm. example. I, I, I make a fortune off tile cracks. I love them. <laughs> okay. People see a floor crack and they think let's, it's a foundation let's issue. Let's just admit it. It's a business, right? <laughs> and, and I get called out on a lot of them. I hate to say it because it's like a significant part of my business. <laughs> well, someone see, and this is why I want to educate That's it. the viewers. It because so, small things may not yeah. warrant having an engineer come out doesn't. and look. And you'll know these cracks. The homeowners will always say, this crack goes through my kitchen, it goes through the hallway, then they'll walk around, it goes through the master bath, right? So it goes all the way across. And so they'll say things like, my house is cracking in two, and it's cracking in half, and you know. 
but please help me yeah please, please help, help me. me my my house is That's falling it. apart what do i do every yeah this what do i do big span of crack tile so we take the elevations and in almost every case the elevations are perfectly level and you go out and if you go out into the garage and you look at the exposed concrete there'll be cracks in the concrete there's cracks in every concrete so i'll take them out to the garage and I'll say, you know, see that, see that little crack right there? Mm -hmm. Well, that same crack is in your foundation, it's just normal drying. And then we put brittle tile over that crack. A hard material. A hard, brittle ceramic tile. Right. And again, with the earth vibration, the vibrations run through that concrete. We just don't feel it, but they're there. And then the, the vibration gets to that little crack and it cracks that tile, and they'll crack right along that drying line. It, it's just a perfectly normal cause from vibration. You probably don't get as many phone calls from people that have wood versus right. tile, because right. there may be some, some movement going on You're with the right. tile, but it's more flexible and has That's more right. give That's it. than Tiles just crack. Tile. That's, the only time that a tile crack is significant, which is very rare, is, is if the tile is actually displaced. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so that would be something good for me to share with clients right. when they're looking at their if, their tile, debating on whether they're going to call. If you're engineer. rubbing across the crack and it's flat like that, that's perfectly normal vibrational movement. If if it's if it's raised, just, if it's raised, that's a concern. Okay, great information. Yeah, love that's it. As a bonus. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you would like to view other helpful tips, click here. If you would like to view a neighborhood we specialize in, click here. And to subscribe and stay updated, click on the circle below. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.